very often in a cinematographer's career, it's the flashy, bright stuff that gets noticed a lot by mm -hmm. the lay audience and the real, sometimes the, the quote-unquote invisible stuff that you do, mm -hmm. nobody sees it but you. Does that bother you? Actually, you know, you've got used to it and I think, sort of think that no one has to really, it's a feeling that you should get, right. you know. It is like sometimes I feel, see, I shot uh, another film for M.F. Hussain actually, you know, which is scripted. Uh, and it is only half complete, uh, three-fourth complete, then he passed away. So, nothing has happened to it. Those kind of things really make you feel bad. But I don't think that, you know, just like uh, most of these actors, you know, the stars, like you say, they only get to do a kind of role, you know. Same way, uh, you, uh, when you, uh, you know, I, I, I think that cinematography is like the Vedas, you know. But more often what happens is, once you know how to conduct a marriage, birth or death, <laughs> then you, you are in business, you know. <laughs> so, oh, what scene, death scene, okay, off that light, off this light, okay, this is one back light, romance. So, you get stuck to these three, four things which you have learned, but you don't get a chance to explore more, which you try to do um, by making your own films, you know. Right. Uh, so, you try to see, okay, can it have another character, things that you couldn't do, there, can we do something differently? So, you just keep yourself busy. You can't point fingers at anyone and say, oh, I was not allowed to do this or that. So, you do whatever you want in whichever way because a lot of times it becomes very difficult because when they say, do it like you did in Roja or something like that, then you don't want to get into that, you know. You want to try something new, you know. And uh, that's why I like working with Mani Ratnam and all that because he, uh, all the films I have shot for him are very different from each other. And I, I, and I don't know what you're going to do next because it is interesting because he is someone who takes good work out of people, you know, because he has worked with a lot of very interesting cinematographers. So, so it is important to have a director to handle it in a very nice way, yeah. So, when, when you, uh, can you give us an example of, uh, just to explain it in a more concrete term, of let's say a death scene that, that you shot very differently, like from a film, can you name a film and, or, or any film, like a romantic scene that you shot differently or something that, mm. that you really changed the way, the paradigm of the shot. I'm sure you've done lots of it, but I'm just saying one specific example. Yeah, see, for me, I think, you know, I think we really explored a very different kind of work, which is also not followed too much because some things you can follow that work. But sometimes it is very difficult to follow that kind of work because it's all things coming together. Right. A film like Irivar has that uh, lot, you know. It, it has a very different kind of a layering and things like that. And it's one of the most enjoyable films I've actually worked with because I think um, money, for Mani Ritnam, it was a tribute to Ray or something. And uh, so it was like he, he actually likes you know, these people from the heart. I mean, whether it Roja was for Barajinda sir or something like that. So, you get a lot of inspiration when he talks like that, it inspires you also to do something special. I think, um, uh, I, I can't often remember, but I think, uh, I remember I shot a film called uh, Perindachin. Right. Yeah. It won you a lot of... Uh, uh, yeah. It got a national. Okay. So, the, uh, the, they said that this is a very dialogue film and there are no landscapes for cinematographers. I'm new, you know. So, I said, no, face is like a landscape. You know, so, MD was there and the scriptwriter just uh, looked at me and says, yeah, it's a, like a landscape. Let's see what you do with the landscape. And then that's the first time that, uh, you know, most of the scenes which are not like regular scenes, like this master craftsman wants to make a statue of a god and then falls in love with uh, the person who did it and gets into There's no real physicality to it. But the whole thing is about... Uh, people um, uh, giving life to the statue as well as to her. And so, we have done a lot with moving light. So, you don't know, you know, uh, things like that. So, those kind of things I think is very interesting uh, when it comes on. Even though we never had such elaborate technique, technology we had today, but it was interesting. I think the thought itself is uh, very interesting. And I think, basically, I think every film, if you ask me very frankly, it is a script which inspires you. Right. What is the... And then the actors who perform. So, if you actually, it's a very moving scene, you, when you're shooting, you might actually have tears. That is interesting, you know what I mean? And uh, I think those used to happen much more before. Now, you have, of course, there's electronic cameras coming up and then doing all that stuff and all that. So, it, it's interesting. I mean, it's a, you have seen a, a change into something else also. Yeah.